Good afternoon everyone. I'm a bit late with my video today, but we will get cracking anyway. I'm just going to move my light over a little bit. Hopefully you'll still be able to see because it's kind of grey outside. Right, so what I wanted to do, I've done the three hole pamphlet stitch and stitched all the pages together. I didn't even measure. I just poked my holes and stitched it. So I've done that so many times. I didn't show that on camera. If you want to see a three hole pamphlet stitch just um, type it in on on um, what's it called YouTube and many many tutorials will come up or if you go into my um, how to make a journal there's many series I've done and I'm probably have sewing my signatures in or something like that in the title and you might be able to find it there um, so yeah now we're going to do the Midori style binding I thought I'd share. I've shown you that quite a few times before and you can see it on other tutorials. However, I thought I'd show it to you again. And so I'm going to grab my crocodile. My, I used to call it my crocodilly. And I need to put two holes here. I'm going to put my furthest one in first if I can. Oh dear, it's quite hard to get in through this fabric. Oh, that idea might not work if I can't get in there. Oh, yes, that's what I want to use to punch my holes. Mm -hmm. We'll try up here first. This will go a bit better. There. So I want to punch one down here. You need two at each end. Is that about right? Yeah. So one. I just jiggle it about to make sure it cuts the fabric. And then I need one about here. Okay, and then we need to um, try down here. Hmm. Let's just poke out the fabric from out of there, otherwise I can't see. Okay. I just eyeball it. I don't measure anything. Now, why am I not able to get through here? I don't know. Oh, I could maybe slide across like that. This is not fun. So it's because the fabric is so thick. I'm just going to use my tummy and push. Oh, got it. Okay, now is it lined up? Not really. I need to come over here a little bit. Well, it'll just have to be a little bit crooked. I don't even need to come down that far. So there. It's very thick. And then just... Slide it along here carefully and about there. Okay, got it. Well, that was an effort, wasn't it? Okay, just push that out because next time I go to use it, I won't be able to see, will I? Okay, lots of layers. And then I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use these blue ones. Let's just see if I can pull out some. I need four, obviously. There. And I need to put them in here. So I'll start with that one. So you put you, where you've got your knobbly bit there, squeeze it down really tight. Yep, that one, that's okay. And then this one here. And that just reinforces your holes. Okay, that's good. And then the next one. Oh, and I'll do that one first. And then this one. And there are my holes ready for my elastic. Now, I haven't done one for a while, so I've got to try and remember. I'm pretty sure I remember. Right. Grab your elastic. I don't cut my elastic. I think mine's about a 2 mil elastic. You go down the bottom hole at the top, or the bottom, back in that way. So on the outside, you're going to see the little loopy dare then you come all the way down and you go 
I'm just stretching out and getting a bit more elastic here. And then you go all the way down to your furthest hole there, like so. And then you come in here. And then I probably don't need quite so much to tie. This is so I don't waste any elastic. And then I just cut it and then tie it. Pull it taut, not too taut that you bend your thing. Is that going to be all right? I think so. Put your finger in there. But maybe pull it a tiny bit tighter than what you want because it will slip out a little bit when you do your knot. Tie your knot. Now, the, the elastic with the knot is not the one that you slip your papers through. You slip your papers through the, the longest. This is the longest length. And I need to see here, I have snipped enough, I think. So I snip the corners off here and here. So that way, um, the top, the edge of my pages where they fold don't crash into this because otherwise they'll rip. So I'm just going to slide it in and show you. It's a little bit fiddly. It is a bit of a fiddly process, especially when you've got a chunky thing like me. Just stretch your elastic and slip it to its like, oh, there you go, I need to see, see what happens. So I just need to snip a little bit more inside there, but that's how it sort of goes into the journal. And now I need to sort of wiggle this a little bit and that will go there. And that's the journal closed. Yes, Lily? Who's gonna go downstairs? Okay, great. Okay. And I've made my journal, my journal, my envelope journal envelopes are a bit longer than this, but that's okay. That will be fine. So that is how it sort of sits in the journal. And you can take it out and work on it. I need to put a pocket here or something. I don't know. I kind of like it. I love that. Oh, I don't remember what that fabric is. I probably don't have any more of that. Anyway. So now we can work on the journal. So I'm going to take it out actually. I'll leave it out for the whole time that I'm working in it and then put it in towards the end. So I do need to do, I might just put a little snip in there just so it's not ripping. Because it's so many pages, I probably should have just done my little diagonal snip a few pages at a time. Because doing it there, it sort of got the outer pages and not the inner pages. But that's okay. We will survive. Right. So I don't need this anymore. Put that on the floor. And pull over some. Oh, I've got papers here to play with. Okay. Put the covers cover over there. And I've still got to think about this cover as well. This one's going to be super yummy too. Okay. We'll, be, look, we'll do that later this week we'll like build up that cover as well and when I do this so we did the Christmas one with the tabs which could be an option for um, ladies that have for our stitchery of um, journal of stitchery so you could have um, the tabs if you want to I think Took made one like that um, with your covers your hard covers if you're doing hard covers or um, I, I will be reconstructing this um this cover and so uh you'll see how you could possibly do it could give you an idea isn't that pretty i might have to scan that give you an idea for for when you um you know build your make a bigger spine in your book for your stitchery than than what you might already have words are eluding me today so I hope everybody is well. I haven't said that. I'm going to snip these corners while I remember. Okay. Just looks more like purposeful to me. Okay, so that's like that. Now I can start working on here because I can see what's going to be next to it. And that, I didn't make it so that it would um, close. I actually glued it all because I'm a ding dong, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to snip that because these little bags, they're quite hard to get into. So I like to just take a little bit more off. Okay. Feeling hot and bothered right now. Now, I don't, I shouldn't move my light too far away because otherwise you're going to have shadows. Okay, let's get cracking. So we need some papers. Just trying to remember what I did there. goes over here 
and I have these pages here. So I'm keeping these um, extra printed out pages for collaging. Do I have any of that? And I might use I might use some of my collage papers in with drafts. Well, that's nice. I think I might use that. I like that. Now let's see. I'm going to rip off this edge first. And I'm going to slowly work through this journal, putting in um, pockets and, and whatever else it's lacking. And then I'm going to leave this one open. I'm going to put something over here as well, and I'll put, maybe put something there, but that's kind of a nice writing spot as well. Okay, so let's see here. I need to tear it about there. Okay. I'm going to just tear it all the way to the bottom. And that's going to go here. Oh, it's just so nice to be up here. I've only done, just can't, just, the only time I've been in here has been um, when I'm doing videos. So hopefully that's not the case today. I haven't, now, you ladies doing the stitchery journal, you have, you are so fast. Do you know, since I did the video, I haven't even worked on it yet. I haven't had time because we've had visitors and that sort of stuff. And, um, and so, yep, done nothing. And so I'm hoping this afternoon, well, it's already afternoon. It's actually quite late in the afternoon. It's already probably after three, I'd say. Um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to have a look at it and have a think about it. Okay, so that's that. I need something up there, I think. I am loving this blue. I'm just, I'm loving this pop of brighter sort of blue with Jaff's wonderful old um, I just think it makes it pop old sort of colours. Oh, you know, worn sort of colours, I should say. They look like they're worn off frescoes, which I love. I'm going to put that one there. I'm covering up that little flower. Okay. don't want to do too much. I have a bit of book page. Let's have a look at that. Oh, I'm really thirsty. I probably should have brought up some. Actually, I probably would have it that way. Some water. No, I think I'll leave that for the moment. I'm not, I haven't decided if I'm going to put any more there, but I am going to put something here. So I do want to use up some of these scraps. I just want something here, I think. I need a little bit up there as well. Um, I'm going to hand tear it. So just to update you, I think I might put that more over there. I'm going to put that all the way up actually and I'll trim off what I don't need. Um, I need to update you on the snow, snow fest. Shall we call it a snow fest? Because for me it was just wonderful. Um, so yes, it did stop in the middle of the night snowing and there was still quite a bit around this morning. I think it might have rained a little bit too, but it was still quite white and um, it was I had to drive very slowly getting out of our car park here because the snow plows didn't come in here and clean. Um, and they didn't really clean the little our little country street. Um, but the main then you don't have to go far and then you're on the main road and that was okay i just drove lulu to school very slowly so um there we go that covers up the sticky of the envelope and so yep i did manage to take her to school today which was good but the teachers had said if you if you were like there are people in san marino there's a girl from san marino that's in lulu's class she um was there was a lot more snow up there because that's quite a bit higher above sea level we're we're on sea level so um they did say, any, if anyone doesn't come to school 
tomorrow, then um, you can do, we'll, we'll put on the online learning for you. So that was nice of them, but Lily decided to go. So it seems to be melting now, but it's not all there on the hills I can see, but it's, it's starting to melt in the fields. I've got black on my finger. I think that's pen. And then I think I'm, I don't know whether I want to put something here like decorative. Once I start pulling out these, I, it starts to become a mess. Okay. See, something like that could be nice. Just a minute. I know they're supposed to go in a pocket, but I like to do different things. I'm going to cut that one out. Maybe the lady sitting down, she's kind of thinking. I'll do my best to cut straight. So I'm just going to slowly work through. I may come back and add here and there to things. But just slowly start going through and putting putting things down, if you know what I mean. And I'm going to put that there, I think, like so. Okay. You know, I then might come back with some, pull out the washi tapes or something and come back and put bits of those or fochies or I might glue down a stamped piece of fabric or, but those sort of things can come afterwards they don't have to be done straight away you have time to think about it okay so that's that I may come back and put something on there I'm not sure but I think I'm just going to move on to the next bit okay I'm actually going to move on just go through and do the envelope the envelopey bits and then um, once I've done the envelopes, I'm going to, then I can come back and do all my pockets. I love all the old pages in this. Now, I think this one glued down. I tried to be careful yesterday, but it glued and I think it's a very strong glue. Oh, I've got my other, I need my metal ruler to lift it. That one worked. This one oozed. I don't know if I can, if I can't open it, will just be a pocket there and I'll glue that down. It's not a problem. I, yeah, I'll do something like that, but we'll come back to that. We'll worry about that one afterwards. I have these papers. All very, make me, bring me joy, they do. So, of course, they are in the middle of two envelopes. Here's the next envelope here. So they are stitched in here. And if I wanted to, if this was annoying me, which could be, I can put a clip there. That's good, and it will stay down. Now, on these transparent ones, I don't like to put too much on them because um, then you put something in there that's pretty. But what I might do, I don't want to put anything, like if I put something like that on there, then you've got the white on the other side, and I don't like that. So I could use a little piece of piece of straw paper and I don't I don't think I'll be offended they yeah, are not offended seeing that on the other side but the other one I don't like so I'm going to glue that well I won't glue it down yet let's just let's hold our horses let's see that's that one could put something like that there and then some sort of flower but maybe not that script something else okay so let's glue this down and for me, this is this is really a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing this part of the process. I'm, I'm going to use my glue stick, even though it's gluing onto like a vellum -y sort of paper. So, but I make sure I put lots of glue, like I'm really squishing it down. You can tell by the big chunks that I get on it. So I know there's lots of glue there, and chances are it will stick. I'm going to put that there, and. I was going to put some book page. So let me I put everything away. I tied it up. 
which was good of me to do that, but then it's annoying because then you have to pull it all out. Here we go. Here's a, here's a lovely bit of torn paper. Oh, I like the font in that one too. Oh, and I love the colour of that one. I'll pick them out just in case. See, sometimes the papers aren't that old. Like these are not that old, but I like the colour or I like the font. Instead, this one's this one's um, 1840s, if not earlier. Because I can tell by the paper. It's, it's a semi-rag paper, this one. I can feel it. It's quite hard to... Like I tore it, but there's some resistance. See, 1811... Um, it's obviously talking about something. Uh, this is this is early eighteen hundreds. Can't believe. Oops, we're in well in now getting well into January in twenty twenty two. It's just amazing, isn't it, when you think about it. Okay, so put that there and then I'm I can put something on there that's like printed out if I want to just move these out of the way see if there's any cute little images here that I like um, they're all quite they're actually you know a lot of them are quite big so I might not find one that I'm wanting I sort of don't want to cut up any you know, tags or anything like that till, until I see uh, how many I need. There's not so many there, so I think I might get my one of my floral books, probably the Florigium. I feel like it's really, really good with this um, with this You see, you could stick something like that on a, a vellum envelope as well and it, you know, you'd see the flower on the other side. That's a that's a good solution, isn't that lovely? I love these things. So I don't want anything big. I want something little. Oh, where are the little ones? Oh yes, yeah, something like that. Let's see, let's pull this paper out. Something like that. I might tear it. Because there's a lot of yellow and sort of those sorts of colours in this book, but there's not a lot. I haven't seen a lot of these nice purpley sort of colours. I'm going to put that there, I think. Yes. And I need a pop of something behind it. Of course I do. So, oh, I know. I know what we could use that I haven't pulled out. I've just got to find it. Just bear with me because I keep moving things around. It's not easy. I want to get these two folders. I like these. So there's some stamp things there. Uh, but I was thinking something like this would be very nice peekabooing out the back. Let me see. Or peekabooing across there. Or down there. I might just tear a little bit more. Do a bit of a, a loose fussy tear. Right. Oh dear, sticky, sticky. Icky, sticky. Um, I think I might like it more on here. Yes, over there. Okay, so let's put this on first. Need to do some more. Of course, navy blue is one of my favourites. Put that there. And then I'm going to put my little flower on. I need a new piece. Like that. Okay. And if I could decide then to put a little Tracy label or something like that, but I, I won't decide that now. And that's not offensive on that side. And then we have this flipping out. Now here... This here, now that one slides in like that. I think I might close it and open it at the top. I'm also going to close or open it at the side. I'm going to close this one and open it at the top because I don't want to have that bit. So I need to find 
a paper or something or a book page or something to cover that bit there. So let's see, we'll put that back in there. Excuse me. Here we go. Let's put the clip. Silly envelope getting in my way. That's not nice. So I could even have a piece of that. Would be nice there. Just to break up all the... I think I'm going to put that there. So maybe that one. Let's tear it at top, the top. So I'm going to put a, do I have a pencil here somewhere? Yes. Pencil mark there. And then just slide it up a little bit and put a pencil mark here. And that's where I'm tearing. And my other pencil mark is here. Now, when you're gluing this, you need to be careful. So do have that white there. I'll cover that up afterwards. That's okay. I could put this over a bit further like that. And then put something down there. I think that's what I'll do. So I need to be careful here with my gluing. So I need to grab some book page. You need to put your glue on here, not on this piece. Because if you put your glue all over this piece... It's going to glue down on there and you've shut your pocket. You don't have a, you. I mean, you can only fit something skinny there. That's all you can fit. So I'm just going to grab a nice clean piece of book page and fold it in such a way that it will fit in there, I hope. Should. Okay, so first I'm going to put my glue, I can stay in a bit from the edge. So I'm going to run my glue along this one edge here, down this edge and that edge, but not on this edge here. There I'm going to run a thin line of glue. And then the rest of the glue needs to go on here like this. That way, if you run it along your two, your few edges there, um, you know you've got, because I might not go right to the edge here or right to the edge up there. So at least you know it's going to stick down. But I need to also run a line of glue down here on the edge I didn't stick. That's going to go down here. So it shuts your, shuts your pocket on that side. And I think I do want to just trim this annoying piece off there because that's where I snipped out my corners. Oh, and that's that's Steffi. I just freaked out. Don't worry, guys. Lily's going to open the door for me. I just need to slide that in there, close to there. And so, oh, oh dear, I need to slide it up there because I don't think I have much time with this quick drying stuff. Okay, so that's good. Oh, that was hard work. Okay, so I'm going to put a strip down here and I'll probably... Put that there, I think. Right. Oh, 
too short. Doesn't matter. Put that there. That's the one that I painted. Okay. And then here, I was going to close this and open it on the other side because I think that'll be annoying sliding things in, in and out of there. So what I can do is just run my glue along there. I think I would like to stick something there, but I'm not sure what. I quite like those colours. I'm not too interested in that, the seed sort of date or anything like that. So I think I might do a little bit of collage on here. Yeah. And then I need to find a piece to go up there. I, think I might stick this. Let's have a look. like that I'm going to put that there okay good I'll show you how I open the envelopes because they're now closed. So this one I said I was going to open it here. And then you can put a little a little um, snip. If I can find my punch. put in a little snip there to remind yourself that it opens there okay and then this one I'm going to open at the top I don't know, I might put something there, but I'm not sure because there'll be a, some sort of tag in there that'll look pretty. So I'm not sure about that. Let's just see what's floating around. I mean, there are things like that. I don't know. I think I'll leave that. Then we're going to come over here and work on this. And then this one, I'm going to do the same thing, close that. And I'll probably open it at the top. Or, yeah, 
I think I'll do that. I'll open it at the top. So here. Quite like that. It's very brittle, so I'll have to, um, you know, use a clean book page. And I also might put a tab on, I think I might put a tab up there so then it's obvious to flip it out. And I just need to find some more. I could tear this down. What's on that side? I like that one. Let's tear this down and just see what that would like look like. I don't want to cover up all of that faux parchment style envelope. So I'm wondering what this might look like, whether I'm going to keep the two flowers or I think I'll put that there. Love that. I'm going to put that there. I just need to tear this little bit down here. And I think I need just a little something behind it. Not that one. Nope. Or maybe this going. I'm going to stick that on and then I can come back and decide what else needs to go there. Something else needs to go there, but I'm not sure quite what. And that's what I do. I try not to sort of dwell on it for too long. I'll just come back to it. I'll see it with fresh eyes when I come back. Okay. Now, I've got glue everywhere. That page is sticky on both sides. I can't keep that one. Now. I need to just clean. I've got big clumps of glue on my mat. I don't like that. Okay. Put that there. And I've got a dry one here so I can dry it. Okay. I need a sip of water. That's what I need. Right, so that's already kind of decorated on that side. I need to choose a paper to go here. And I'm thinking one of these lovely ladies. Let's just see what other ones I have. Oh, this lady. This one. This is it. So let's just tear it in half. See, I've got glue everywhere. It's all sticky. There's some glue here. I need to clean this. Wrong one. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to tear down these top and bottom. And then I just need to mark. And this is a nice sort of 
off-white sort of envelope so um, I've just marked that off with my nail um, so I don't mind that I can see a little bit of it and this one I don't I don't need to worry about it too much because there's not that much I wouldn't lose that much space if I glued it onto there so I think I'm just going to grab this and this one was a misprint as you can see so you don't throw them out I'm just going to put my glue all over it and that little bit will be shut nothing will go in that bit anyway I do think it is ridiculous how much glue I do manage to get onto my piece of paper. I've got the biggest lump under there, just a sec. Look at that. Okay, and then I just need a little something down there. So I think I put a little piece of book page. Just a little tiny piece there and I have managed to use as much as that as much of that um, blue one as I possibly can and I'm going to put that there and then I can decide at a later date if I want anything else I think I might put it that way there we go okay so um, I'm going to snip this one at the top. Oh, and I'm going to take off that bit there. And trim this up here. So we have this that opens out like that then we have this envelope has stayed the same and I haven't done anything there yet but I will come back to that and then we'll go right through there to the next envelope which is here we did this little decoration we did that so that opens at the top that opens at the side I may put something else in here but I haven't decided um, decorated that side and then fixed up this one and it's open at the top so I think I'll sign off for now um, and a bit pretty there I'll sign off for now and then I will be back again or tomorrow or the next day to do a bit more I think because it's it, you know once you get started it's nice to to keep on going I may get a little bit done off camera um, which would be good because then I can just show you what I did. I need to see if I can get that open without ripping it. Otherwise, I'll just close it down. It'll be um, top pocket at that side and a little tuck there. Um, actually, I could close that and I could do like a little belly band that sticks here across to there. And then it's you've still got all that depth. So I would decide about that. We'll, we might do that together. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that and um, making some progress. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.